Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to show you a great alternative to Cursor and Cloud Code that can help you build projects at a fraction of the cost. If you've been using Cloud Code or Cursor for coding, you'll notice that lately, both coding agents have been slowly cutting down how much you can use them for the given plans. At first, the pricing tells you you've got a certain number of queries, but then they lower the rate limits, and before you know it, you're hitting your weekly limit after just a few hours of coding. And honestly, that's the worst. Hitting the limit right in the middle of your work just destroys your focus. Fortunately, there is a new model that can solve this problem, and that is the GLM 4.6 model by ZAI. Now, GLM 4.6 is a frontier model built with a strong focus on advanced agentic workflows, deep reasoning, and real-world coding capabilities. It's powerful enough to compete with some of the best models today, like Cloud and GPT-5. When it comes to performance, GLM 4.6 does well, as in the benchmarks for reasoning, coding, and other key areas. It outperforms open source models like DeepSeek and even gets close to Cloud Sonnet 4, though it still trails a bit behind the newer Sonnet 4.5 as shown here. And in others, like SWE Bench Verified, Terminal Bench, and T2 Bench are also the same, it's just likely behind Sonnet 4.5. And then there is the pricing, and this is where things get really interesting. GLM 4.6 costs just 6 cents per million input tokens or 11 cents with cash input, while output tokens are priced at $2.20 per million. It has only 200k context window, but it's an incredible value for the quality you get. And that's not all, alongside the release, the team also introduced the GLM coding plan, a subscription made specifically for developers and power users who use coding assistance. The plan starts at just $3 per month, which is pretty wild compared to Cloud Code because their first useful plan starts at $100 per month, but you'll reach the usage limits on this plan extremely fast, so you will eventually need to upgrade to the $200 per month plan anyway. And that is of course extremely expensive compared to the coding plans of GLM. So overall, GLM 4.6 is shaping up to be a serious contender, it's powerful, efficient, and affordable. Next, let's take a closer look at how well this model actually performs. Now before we jump into the exciting part, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss new videos that can really help you level up your skills. Also, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, you really help me make useful videos just like this one. Alright, to get started with GLM coding plan, you can head over to their subscription page at z.ai slash subscribe and then click on the subscribe button to begin the process. To get the lowest price, don't forget to select monthly and then this light plan which is $3 per month. You'll most likely be asked to create an account, so just follow the process until it's completed. Once done, you need to create an API key to use GLM. Just click on your profile picture at the top right and then select API keys. On the next screen, click the create new API key button and follow the process until the key is generated. You can copy the key by clicking on this copy icon. And that's it, the next step is to put the key in the coding agent you want to use. For example, on the screen here, I have Killer Code already installed in VS Code, and if you would like to use GLM with Killer Code, you need to open the settings page, and then add the ZAI provider. Uh, I will create a new profile here and name it as GLM ZAI, and then next, change the API provider from Kilo to ZAI, and then the entry point, just leave it at International Coding Plan unless you are located in China. Next, paste the API key over here and then select the model to use. Uh, I will select GLM 4.6 here and that's it. Click save and then done. And now you can start coding using the GLM model. And if you want to switch back to your default model, just change the API profile over here. And then the selected model will be changed to the active profile as well. Okay, let's test out the GLM model. So on the left side here, I already have a CRM dashboard app developed using React and Tailwind CSS. Uh, let's try to run this project. Uh, so I will open the terminal and then run the npm run dev command. And here's the project rendered on the browser. We have several pages already created in this project, but there are pages that haven't been developed yet, such as this pipelines page over here. So we're going to use GLM to develop the page, a backend killer code. I will ask the agent to build the pipelines visualization page for this app. 
Add a Kanban board style to see the deals in all stages, look at existing code base, and reuse as much style and component as possible. Press enter and let Kilo code process the request. First, the agent will look at the current project and then determines the steps required to complete the request. After the steps are completed, it will start executing on the plan. And as you can see here, the GLM model can work well in Kilo code. It's smart enough to explore the project and then write the code required to complete the request. After a while, the model will be finished, so let's go ahead and look at the result on the browser. So here's the pipelines page. Uh, it actually looks nice and it has this board UI where we can drag and drop deals on every stage. If we click on the deal card, we can see the details of the deal. And then if we try to pick the card and drop it to other stages, and yep, it's working without any issue. Now let's test out the other UI, uh, for example, the search bar over here. Okay, we can filter the cards shown in the board, so that's pretty nice. Next, click on add deal. Um, nothing happens, it seems the functionality isn't implemented yet. And then the filter button here also does nothing. And yeah, I think that's it for this page. Uh, it looks pretty nice, and the styling also follows the rest of the pages in this dashboard. There is the add deals button that hasn't been implemented yet, but I think I can send a follow up prompt and GLM will be able to do it without any issue. Now, if you want to use GLM in client or root code, you can also do it as well. Uh, for example, here I have root code installed. Uh, let me expand that a bit. Alright, so just click on the settings icon and for the API provider, just select ZAI. And then for the entry point, select the international route and then paste in the API key. Also select the model to use. I have selected GLM 4.6 here, and that's it. Now you can start using GLM in Roo code. Now, if you want to use GLM in cloud code, you can also do that. Uh, simply head over to this cloud code guide, which I'll leave a link in the description below as well, and then find the script to run from your terminal. The script will add environment variables required to use GLM in cloud code. Uh, so just copy the script, and then in your terminal, paste the script and then press enter. Once it's running, you will also be asked to enter the API key for ZAI over here. So go back to Z.AI website and copy the API key and then open the terminal again, paste the key and press enter. With that, the configuration is finished. So just run cloud code as usual. Now here on the UI, we can see that cloud code is running the GLM model. So it's already active. Let's just ask Cloud Code, uh, what model are you? And then press enter. And we can see that this is the GLM model by ZAI. We can also run the status command to see the details. Okay, here we can see that the authentication is using Anthropic Out token, which has been filled with ZAI API key. And then the API route is using ZAI's Anthropic route, so it's already running as expected. Now, if you run the model command, we can also see that the default model here is currently GLM model. And then we can also select either Opus or Haiku model, but they should be routed to GLM models as well. Let's select Opus here, for example. And we can see that the Opus model actually maps to the GLM 4.6 model as well. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And that's all for this video. Overall, the GLM model looks pretty solid. It does pretty well when I run it on Kilo Code, as shown in this video. And you can integrate it with Cloud Code as well. Also, if you care about privacy, then rest assured, as GLM services are based in Singapore and they don't collect any information or data you provide to it. You know, unlike that other model which sends it to uh, you know where. GLM's coding performance is very good, it has advanced reasoning built within, and it understands how to use all sorts of tools as well. I would use GLM as a cost efficient coding model, as the coding plan is very affordable. Also, if you have the computing power and would like to use it locally, you can also download the model from Hugging Face as it is actually open source. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about the GLM coding plan and Kilocode? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you build profitable apps and projects using AI and other tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye-bye.